Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 64 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Okay, let's see what Detail has to say. Oh, comic music. Oh yes, this one. While Alvaro was working, he thought of a good idea for fixing up his wrench weapon thing. So he called Deed in to discuss the possibility. So you push this here and this juts out and then you sp spin this gear and the power goes up. Oh, I see. That's pretty nice. Do you think you can work something into my crossbow too? Of course! Let's give it a shot. Well, these two play with their toys. And they get some peanut gallery. So, what you doing? Is there something tasty going on here? Oh, you guys have come at a fun time. <laughs> Mikeu points out, you're not slacking off on your actual jobs, are you? Um, yeah. She kind of hit it right on the head. But we're taking a break right now. It'll be okay. We'll return to that right afterwards. And anyway, this will be useful. Eventually. So, what are we doing? We are improving our weapons. You're sharpening them? Hmm. Avaro thinks to himself, don't say it like we're sharpening kitchen knives here. This is mechanical techniques here, we're in, and we're strengthening them. Hey, now that we mentioned it, Avaro's weapon is pretty weird. It needs to be mentioned. <laughs> oh, so it's not just a bludgeoning weapon. If you press this button, things spin and the tip comes and closes gripping and stuff. Yeah, good job describing a wrench, Fia. So, Avaro says, that's because it wasn't originally a weapon. It was supposed to be a tool for crafting. It was remade into a weapon. And furthermore, they've been working on Deet's crossbow. And because of this, they got the range to increase. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> so, Deet proud of Avaro being so much better at engineering than he was when he started. Huh, well. Yeah, from time to time everybody in the Aquatic Beasts Vanguard did this sort of thing. They're all a bunch of dorks. <laughs> oh, so if you do that, the weapons get stronger. How convenient. Oh, are you interested? No, not really. Well, it can't be helped. Everybody wants to know about this stuff. Ah, she's not as interested as you say her. She is interested. Alright, you want to give it a shot? Making stuff? Actually, why don't you just tell me something that you'll have me wake? Mm, well, alright, if you insist, I'll think of something for you to make. Alright. I've always got ideas, since Fio uses a bow. You could simply make uh, increase the range, but you also want to increase the power, perhaps, first. Hey, you also have to think about accuracy. If it doesn't hit the enemy, there's no point. Somehow these two have gotten fired up on this topic. There's no stopping them. Ah, 
Oh, she's thought of a good one. She wants a heart-shaped bow and arrow. Mikio says that they should color it properly, too. Pink is cute. Pink. And be sure to tie a decorative string on the handle. Come on, you guys just don't get it. This is about strengthening the weapon. That kind of decorative crap is not the point. No, oh, Fia doesn't want it if it's not cute. Lame. You should think more about how it looks as well. Its functionality is important, but you have to start with where it looks. No, no, you'll get it. This lameness is actually part of its coolness. It's a functional beauty, you know? A wonderful weapon by itself is kind of a work of art. Yeah, give it up. After all, these is, this is just women and children. They're not going to understand. Ha. Ah, how sad. If it were Kisner, she would understand. She's good with her weapon and stuff. Alright, d -Tom's going back to his cross, though. He's got another idea. Alright. Hey, I've always going to point out one of his tools. Where did he put it? Where did he put it? He was in the back of one of his drawers or chests or something. So he comes and shows it. Jeez, Avaro, what is that thing? Did you make it yourself? Yeah, awesome, isn't it? I made it myself for a special purpose. What were you thinking? Making it like that, it can't be used for anything but repurposing your... your wrench. That's awesome! Let me play with it. No, no, I'm not done with it yet. You recall that about three lines ago, indeed, Helm was saying women and children don't understand this stuff, and Fia says, the two of you are acting like kids yourselves. Yeah, their eyes are gleaming. Alright, when your break is over, be sure to return to work, okay? Well, no matter how old guys get, they always like working with mechanical crap. Heh. So they continued and got three new plans available. However, they didn't actually get back to work until the next morning. Hell, they stayed up all night working on that crap. So, weapons. Shakunetsu gear. Uh, blazing fires gear, you might call it. And the Blazing Fire's crossbow. I could have sworn something came in for Fia as well, but I guess it didn't. And I can make this thing. This is good. Yes. I guess lightning attacks have been fairly sparse throughout my play. Ma ma ma. Yes. Enough of those. Yes. I want more red liquid. But anyway. That's a cutscene. I've got several maps here and there that I need to finish up again. And I don't have any new maps, so I'm going to do this. This one, I just did a really basic screw up of missing a couple of leaves. Uh, seedlings I needed to recover and missing a room. So I'm going to cut the actual play and we'll be back shortly.
All right, I did it right this time. Uh, regular stuff. Was that all that was available there? Well, no, there are other things available, but nothing particularly valuable. Anything new? Nope. Oh! Those four-star goblinoid enemies can be used for this or that. Let's give Kaori Determination 3. It's pretty awesome. I might wander around letting him get hurt just so we can see that in action. Hmm. Nah, fine, whatever. The rule is I go from left to right, even if it's kind of sucky. Hey, females. Yeah, those Yui Chiri I captured. That appears to be the only map I've seen Yui Chiri in, and they drop certain items that can be used in crafting. They haven't dropped for me yet. So I can't craft that particular item. Ah. One star goblinoids. That's everything. Now I have seven one star goblinoids at this point. So if they could do anything, somebody would say so. So, one star goblinoids are officially garbage from now on. Not that I'll remember for about 8 or 10 videos, but just so you know. Right. And... Oh, I finally have enough materials to make Mikeu's starting book. I'll actually make two of them. Yes. It's useful for this one and probably another one I'll be making in the future. Just the one right now. But anyway. The base weapons are sometimes base components for later weapons, so I don't want to run out of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think I'm doing good then. Not much to say, so let's move on to the next one I want to come to. That wasn't it. Here. The map where we rescued Mikeu from bad guys and then a demon. Remember it? There are just a few things I'd like to show you, but most of it will be cut. Okay, first things first. This herb gathering point wasn't available when we first visited this map. Shut up, bitch. Recall this was the room that Mikeu was trapped in. Imprisoned in, really. And she wasn't able to do it. And we had Avaro in here to fix these two. He didn't see it either. So it's new when you replay the map. Next up. We can finally own, open this blue copper door. Thanks to that blue copper key we made ages ago. So let's teleport in and open that thing. Okay, here we are. This actually took two, turn, two turns because of control problems. Now this is the earth shards, four of them. Also, the in the boss room there was this hidden room off to the side. One of those kind of dicky moves they do following you sometimes. So, lightning shards, three of them. You could have gotten that your first time through if you've been willing to pull a tank in here and walk your control over to the side, and then get someone who could search there, which was probably only a Varro at that point. Look, shut up, I'm talking here. This guy will stay quiet for me. Jeez. Anyway, at that point in the game you only had one good tank and one bad tank, 
and three characters that went squish, as I recall properly. So you probably didn't want to get this at the time. Alright, last one. Oh, it's another heat. A heat toleration armlet. The ones that let us walk through lava, remember those? So, now we're done. We got our gold. And we got some this and that. I need more volcanic stones. I actually need four of them for the sauna we're going to make for eel. But there are better places to mine them. Places that just produce them like nobody's business. Well, Didum's got something to say, but I think I'm approaching the end of my time today, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.